put music over what we just said. <laughs> yeah, <it was> fun. <laughs> get me into so much trouble your base circle is the same down mm -hmm. here that's why i can use the foot those push rods but look how wide and tall how many rollers there's um double the amount of rollers over here inside compared to here at the stock you see it hector yes yeah, 7 30 saturday gray ghost my 2022 low rider sts already at the the shop on the lift the guys are gonna meet over there and we're gonna start wrenching guys installing the star 3030 cam with uh, the sawiki two into one pipe after that we're gonna dyno tune it in a different video came in on this came in on this john is here oh man morning nice huh i don't know not uh the shop already for our uh, for our job over here i hear i hear nadal with the blasting his sound right now <laughs> destination the team is here scalpel <laughs> there you go <laughs> gotta rip everything Oxygen. off the bike you got the chainsaw? Oh yeah, and these are spoken for. Anybody uh, don't, there's no need. Somebody has this. Oh, that's that's yeah. Let's see all the parts here. Uh, being installed. We got this week. You've seen it in a separate video. Push rods. We're going to have solid push rods going in. The springs, we're going to put it uh, on the top, on the valves. Going to change them out. Those are tappet cuffs. The tappet uh, cuff. The, the anti-rotational. Right, anti exactly. Because the stock are actually plastic from Harley and garbage what do we have here this is the oh the studs you'll see that later on i'm gonna do uh once we're opening up the top end i uh, will show you what we're changing something uh with the rocker shafts this we got is okay this is the tensioner the chain tensioner what do we have here all oh, right 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 pinion gear the pinion gear that's uh by the well the stock one is uh, a little bit has a little bit uh has play, play in it so this one is like a tight fit this is where the magic happened that's the star 3030 the cam shaft right here and here we got what is this those are those the, are the plate and all uh, right the, f the fueling cam plate and the oil pump that's pretty much it and uh, obviously gasket and, and stuff like that so starting with the pipe take the pipes the headers off start with the pipe uh air cleaner we might need to take the uh the uh, footboards off right just this one this one i'll right, pop okay. that one off and then right. uh fuel tank and seat are going to come off fuel tank seat and we're going to put uh I'll tell you the theory behind it while uh, Mike is ripping the part, uh, the bike apart. On this side, I'm going to put love jugs. Now you say to yourself, why, why the love jugs? There it is. Here are the love jugs. I got these from uh, Amsoil Adam. Now this is my theory, my own theory. Like I'm not a mechanic, but the way I see things with uh, the displacement, the Harley's displacement, keep going up and up and up. Personally, I think temperatures are rising. The, these motors, these engines, air cold keep, you know, the displacement keeps going up and so does the temperature rise. And in hot days, when you're going slow, no air moving around the cylinders, around the, the fins, you suffer significantly. Once, when I was at one of the shows, one of the rides, anyway, one of the rallies, we saw a demo by uh, Amsoil Adam with the Love Jugs and he has a bike over there running for thousands of hours non-stop with those love jugs running so i said rather be safe than sorry especially after remember silverback john's bike last year pretty much uh, burnt from us uh, going in slow traffic so that was uh, for the longest time i was it was difficult to get these I got this like four or five months ago, and we're gonna uh, gonna install it on the left side while Mike is doing uh, the magic on the other side. So, is it true or not about uh, the t high temperatures? I don't know. That's just my theory. I see it hardly keeps pushing the limits, raising higher and higher displacements, and 
temperatures are running higher. A lot of uh, aftermarket ideas and, and concepts of oil, like oil coolers that come, that are attached over here and fans. I believe it, it definitely won't harm. No, no you don't. No? It, goes directly, it goes directly into the harness, into the yes. plug. To yeah, the, but there is another accessory plug that yeah, you can, you can do it. Over here, yeah, we're gonna have over here. This side. Now, are they manually controlled or temperature controlled? No, manually controlled. Oh, okay. So you see, that's why right. temperature can. I think you have that option. I get. Not I can that do I that know. In the tech of research, I can turn maybe that on and but off. Because I'm doing one on. Uh, I'm, doing I'm one thinking on of putting one. I'm putting one on my bike too. So in Nadal's house, when we work in the garage, every time we start with a little breakfast, so we gotta. It we can't break luck. the tradition. It can't bring, break it the tradition. It brings luck. There you go. So got some stuff. The rest of the guys are going to be here very soon. Some of the SNS yeah. left us. We're having better luck with these. Okay. Okay. Fueling makes a really nice gasket set. It's, it is a Kometic gasket set from, from Kometic, which gives you everything you need for the That's top the end. That's the company, right? Yeah. They make good gasket sets. Comes right? with the cam bearing. Right. Comes with new ARP style bolts for your for your oh, crank nice. and cam. Oh, the whole kit. Yeah, everything. And that's the Timken cam, but that's the yep. best one, right? And then we've got we we bulletproof these motors as best as we can. So fueling also makes a hardened pinion gear. Um, make a hardened pinion gear to replace the stock one, like my hundred and fifty dollar snap on knife. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Just 12 payments of $10. <laughs> <laughs> right, 12 payments of $2,000 and you got yourself a snap-on knife. So this is an SNS tensioner, can chain tensioner. It doesn't have to be changed. I mean, the Harley one's okay, but I do it. These are the tappet blocks. Um, the Harley ones are, these are anti-rotational devices for the mm -hmm. lifters. Right. Harleys are plastic. So these get replaced with a nice mm -hmm. aluminum style. These are the studs and ARP bolts that are going to replace the rocker bolts that go in. Mm -hmm. uh, Harley uses a, this is Harley's bolt. Right. These tend to walk out, uh, so the stud and nut combination is better. Gotcha. Fueling, solid push rods. Just I like right. doing these because it's one less thing that can go wrong. Right, right. And if you're operating with a camshaft that's got a stock base circle, right. you can use these. The only time that you can't use these, even if you're pulling the head off, mm -hmm. is if you've got a radical cam that the base circle isn't the same size as the Harley mm -hmm. base circle. Gotcha. This Star Racing cam, all of George Bryce's cams have uh, stock Harley base circles. When I say the base circle, I mean the lowest point of the cam. Mm -hmm. So at the lowest point, the measurement, the solid push rods will work. You don't need the adjustables. Nice. Okay. Let me let me grind this down for Sandy. No, grind it down. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> Where's that grinding wheel? I'll, I'll make, we'll make our own cam. Cycle. You'll see how tall, how much right, taller right, and right. wider. Uh -huh. So the duration of this duration. cam is longer, right. and and the peak. The lift. Yep. Mm. Nice. And then we, we were going to be doing SNS uh, oh, valve springs. springs. Nice. Oh, no, dude. Does it have to be done? Now you're, now you're gonna be a fucking boss. Ball. Now you're gonna be a boss. <laughs> now you're gonna be a baller. Now, now you're like a, a kid on a tricycle, but now you know in a couple of hours. A tricycle. Gonna... For sake for sake of science, we did a run. Mike did a run yesterday. I did three. Before three runs before. I could not get the wide band or tubes in your pipes because they're stock pipes and they wouldn't allow it. So I had to put the sniffers in the pipes. Not 100% accurate. So that's that's the hack where it drops the numbers so we can see later on. <laughs> All right, so run one, 91 horsepower and 111.9 torque. Well, not bad torque. Yeah. Now it's like heated up, 92 and 112, 93 and 113, and a operating temperature 94 and 113. No, no, wow. That's, uh, that's, that's nice numbers. For stock, stock not No, bad. but actually with the slip-ons. Okay? With the slip-ons. Now, performance slip -ons. Milo Rider ST. That yeah, don't do caca. Milo Rider ST. Takes <laughs> noise. <laughs> was very close with my 2 to 1 Bassano. Oh. Okay, so 
But as you can see oh, with Sandy, the, the best I could do sniffing the exhaust with both is running rich. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, it's running rich. Yeah. yeah. But that's, but that's, 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 that's not 100% accurate. That's what Harley does. Right. It shouldn't yeah. lean though, Harley, because they don't want all that fuel dumping out. No, but they want, you yeah. know. Why don't you hook them up with a blue one instead of yellow? I have a blue one. I have one. <laughs> he I chose. <laughs> If you guys know anybody who needs, who wants a brand new set of factory 47s out of discount, you hear that? Um, I just pulled them off a bike. The guy had 1,100 miles on the bike for a road bike, and he wants to sell them. Probably get a factory 47, 250. They are 12s. Well, factory 47. Four custom cycles. Check it out. 250. 250. 250. Good price. It's a steal. You got the weight? Wait, hold on. All right. You got it? Yep. Full tank. Always come, always come with a full tank. With a full tank when you're coming into the shop. So you give them a hard, a hard time. Exactly. Get your, get your money through. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, but it, I don't know. If you're going to stay 55 millimeter, the SNS doesn't hurt then. I thought you were going to go bigger. And when the, the bike was on the dyno, it was showing that the. the the mixture was too rich, but uh, it's not. What were you putting? What rods were you putting over there for detection? I just have. Uh, I just had sniffers that I can stick in okay. the pipes because the stock pipes didn't have right. the right size bond. But this one's actually a little darker. But that so, one's yeah. pretty. So that one's pretty lean. But the spark plugs are showing that it's actually lean. So I guess uh, the sniffers weren't that uh, accurate. Then uh, when we do the full dyno, we're gonna put the actual uh, I was gonna do uh, not a delete kit but a drain an external drain I would I, I would probably do a vented dipstick v vented no but for the blow I don't want the blow by it That's yeah but that'll that'll decrease it it's a whole oiling system that so putting a vented dipstick in will help with that yeah mm -hmm. oh I'll do that That's for for a touring bike. Bike. and this one I bought is for a soft tail and I I thought it was a touring bike that's it. That's the, that's cool. the one. That's, uh, that's that. Yeah. It's a wider Let's seat. do that. And it has a hose and a. You can't, you can't vent below yeah, the engine enough. Yeah. 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 Sandy, he's got the tools. It would have taken it takes us double because we don't have the tools. Right. <laughs> just, we have the knowledge, not the tools. <laughs> now the ones back here. I uh, specifically bought these sockets to fit back along the frame. Look how low profile they are. And then this goes on like this. Oh wow! Yeah, just to get in there, and the, the other side's the worst. Snap on, of course. Oh yeah. <laughs> the oiling, the it's oiling oil pipes, crossover tubes. crossovers, tubes. Yep. To, 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 to get access to the top, to be able to dip, pull the top off. More oil to come. There you go. Yeah. We've got. It's going to be well. It'll be both. But you always have the best jokes when the camera's off. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's when they painted them and made them fucking made a play. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. We're remembering last year's uh, cam job that we did. Where we mm -hmm. took uh, the the cuffs off, the plastic cuffs, and our bro, I don't know, we broke the bolt over there. Wait, we? Like no, no, not, not we, not no, you. No, 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 I'm saying you guys. We. No, 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 no. We. Glenn broke the bolt. All right? Glenn, well, actually, Glenn broke the bolt. Actually, him. Him. <laughs> him. <laughs> him. <laughs> so. Mike, you want to explain what we're going to be doing on the top? 
So these are the stock, these are the stock Harley bolts that hold down these rocker shafts. Right. When a camshaft's spinning, it pushes the push rod up, which puts a lot of pressure, and these rock, right. okay? These bolts, on, in some cases, SNS has seen it and we've seen it. Where seen they, it a lot, enough, enough times? I've seen it three times. Okay. Where the bolt actually starts to, back from out. the vibration, it backs out, and now this shaft comes out of the tower. And then a rocker starts to really and you rock. Hear it, and you hear noise. So we're gonna be replacing these bolts with studs, right? Studs, studs and nuts on and top of it. So they're by SNS, you said? Uh, they're by fueling. Fueling, okay. Use red lock tight on everything. Okay, good. So you know, that's against, again, that's uh, preventative action, bulletproofing the build. Yeah. And I'm sorry, but recommend. Yeah, right. And obviously, we're, this is not, you know, the 3030 has a high lift 485, right? 485. And they, everybody says that the 45 stool can use the stock springs, valve springs, but we're, again, bulletproofing it. We're putting, uh, I think you said SNS uh, springs or SNS springs. the SNS side springs. Winders in there. Side winders. Right? Uh, side winders. Yeah, it is called side. SNS side winders. Side winders. Again, to bulletproof the build. Even though you don't need to, but it's like the top limit of, of the ride of how high the lift is going. And you know what? In the future, we're having the studs in there and the springs. If yeah. you ever came back to me and said, I want to go higher, okay, 572, so we're, we're there already. Right. We don't have to open the heads up again. Gotcha. Okay, here's the brutal and aggressive, aggressive part of the ring. Okay, so it always looks good in video. We come with those big, huge cutters, but uh, we don't need it this time. We got to spin the back tire so that this one's all the way down. All the way down. So I'm going to get the pressure down. off. Okay, yours are tight. Yeah, that's a good sign. Came down and... Caught in fucking rain too. Uh, watch the language, please. You're okay. on, t on, on TV, right. on PG. public TV this over here. PG here. Yeah. Come on. An old guy told me once, your ticket is no matter what you do in life. If you don't want to rush your work, don't do it, he said, because it doesn't matter whether you've got muscles or not, your ticket is still punched. That one's yeah, up, then you know this one's down. Got points there, bro. Cover the covers? Yeah, yeah, we're just staying chrome. Yeah, I yeah. would keep the same Harley exactly. top. I like the shorter ones better than that long one. I don't know what yeah. we got. I don't remember what we got. Let's, let's compare them. That's, I, I, yeah, that's yeah, these are hollow. Yeah. Those are probably solid. Yeah. They're hollow, but yeah. they have a very yeah. small hole. Huh? You're going to feel the weight difference. Oh, I got you. So, here's an exhaust. Here's an intake. Oh, See, I'm used to the, the um, intakes are a touch shorter. So now, just put that in your hand and feel the weight of that. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Yeah. Now that. Oh wow, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Notice This bit. is like a little antenna, an FM antenna. From the, so these are hollow too from now? Yeah, they, very small oh, hole you can see in the top. Oh. Wow. What a difference. It is, quality wise. Harley versus aftermarket. Uh, oil breather. Very okay. solid. That's where the oil breather uh, come, comes, gotcha. you know, goes through here and then out to there. Well, he is right because it does, it does affect the airport. He's right. I mean, they do. I love the airplane. Things like oh, there's a good one coming next uh, tomorrow. Oh no, the day after, like the next video, next second video is my simulated training in Amsterdam. A whole session. They gotta be fair long bagels. We're very, very close to Glenn's part. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you the longest ratchet I have. Too. He's doing the worst job in the world right now. Yeah, you're right. The cringe. The dirtiest and the, the worst. We had that, what we had was but look, look how fast he's doing it. Yeah, because yeah, no, we suffer. Right? Because you, you, you don't have the tools. You need a you need a stubby socket with a wobble extension. It's the only way to get in there. We didn't have that. Nope. We had an Allen wrench. <laughs> no. He was like, <laughs> quarter turn at a time. <laughs> three An hour three hours. Yeah. yeah. And now when I have to get him out here? Yeah, because yeah, well, like, he didn't have the proper tools. Stubby Allen with a, a wobble, a wobble extension. We were doing with an Allen wrench, like a quarter, 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 quarter turn at a time. time. Nope. Right. The other trick is if you do take the tops off, you can get an extension through the push rod hole. Oh, there you go.
Yep. Guys, it's all about the tools. <laughs> By the way, I have four kids. He has five. <laughs> no, four. Oh, yeah, I have five. So we got good tools. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I have two. Is that why I buy snap on the top? <laughs> I have one, one work. One kid. Yeah. There you go. Talk about <laughs> the proper tool. Don't <laughs> 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 work. There you go, Glenn. Glenn, there's your bolt. Yes. But yours was all the way in the front. You want to know something? He snapped out the top off last year. Where well, you don't need that bolt. I know, I know. Like, yeah. like, like I almost. Yeah, well, we welded a bolt to it and we yes. got it out. That's what we did. <laughs> <laughs> the head came off, thankfully. Here's a small ratchet. Is, sticks up high. Use something that you can't. Hey guys, we're in a big, big moment. Use something that you can't put that much torque on. Oh, look at that. Glenn, look how easy. Yeah, you see? This, you know, that's not jinx it. They finally figured it out, probably. It's not jinx it. That's fine. Done, huh? As soon as I feel that, it's good. Oh. Now, Mike, when you put them back in. This one's gonna be good too. Yeah, they yeah. came right out, Sandy. Not like, not like, not like we. Yeah. You remember last time? These cuffs are made of pla some kind of polymer or plastic. They, they flex. They move. As, a, as opposed, as opposed to the, you know, the SNS billet. No aluminum over here, right here. Oh, nice. You don't want this to spin inside of here. Right. And these are made of plastic, so they break. If this spins... They break, or they're, they flex and they move a little yes, bit. Yes, and then it'll allow this to spin. That's what you don't want. Even small movement probably is not no, great for... It really is great. Now these, uh, the, the older model, I mean the newer models, uh, can break. An oil pump. They say they're okay. They're, decent, they're good. Yeah, you don't, you don't need to replace them. You don't need to, but we do. But we're we're going to replace. Uh, we get better oiling, better, uh, better oil, oil distribution and, and pressure. Anytime I'm putting high performance parts on a bike, I put high performance supporting parts. And the SNS, it's an expensive piece, but it's yeah. but it's worth worth a uh, while doing it. Yeah, it is. You're in here anyway. Yeah. You know, that's the way I look. You know, last build that we did at, at the docks with Blackford, we didn't, we didn't change the cam plate no. and the oil pump, but that was 2020. It was a 20, it was good, yeah. I didn't do it for juniors either. Juniors are like the stock cam plate. They said from 2020 and up, you're okay. Yeah. Well, that's what they say. But this one is a lot, the, 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 the SNS is all smoother. The oil flows a lot better. The you know what? This time, I'm, I'm an airline pilot and uh, I got so much money, so I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, well, <laughs> the way that they charge for We used to grease the stewardess $200 and she used to move us to fucking first class. And it's the most important O ring in your bike. Yeah, right. The oil pump. This is the oil pump O ring. This O ring tears. This is where all the sumping issues come from. Oh, I got you. That is. Let me, let me see if there's Believe any it or not, in. okay. I don't know if you guys are, you, you know for sure. Yeah. That is actually their their torque uh, cam. cam. That is their stage two torque cam that comes standard mm -hmm. on the ST. How, that, that's what they told that's me. That's probably why you're getting 115 foot. Yeah, pounds. yeah. So it looks good. It doesn't look bad. Yeah. Wider. Your base circle is the same down mm -hmm. here. That's why I can use the foot those push rods. But look how wide and tall. No, it's really the width that's going to hold that valve open for a longer duration to yeah. get more air and fuel into the cylinder. So actually, the design, the design of this uh, of this cam, that what's what actually defines what the character of uh, the the motor, the engine is going to be. How much power you get out of it? How much torque? Yeah, that's the science behind it, right? Yeah, the duration of how the valves stay open and when they close, and how much they open. Right. How yeah. how much they they open and how even uh, how long they stay open and when they and close. how high up or like how low the valves go, so it, it gives a bigger opening for air to go out or air and mixture to come in. Mixture air fuel mixture to come right. in right. and to put it out. All right. All right. So we're gonna change the cam bearing now.
can bearing. Okay, that's uh, this guy. We gotta pull it out. We got a special tool for that. Tools is the key. Yeah, we said. Wow. Nadal actually has a tool, yeah, a t that tool, and it's for rent if you need it. <laughs> uh, on, a, on a rental basis, because that tool is like 400, 600, 300 dollars. 300 dollars be before yeah, inflation. Yeah. Okay, so before inflation. Yeah. Like yeah. Santa for you. Yeah. <laughs> we, we put a like a, use the we hammer. Use, no, no, we <laughs> use the, the plumber so, branch. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The red one. Because <laughs> I didn't. There's a sign yeah, of extraction so and a fight of. Says a, remove and, and install. Inst install. Yep. And then when you put these bolts in, you use the R's or the I's. Remove. Because ah, nice. we're removing oh, it. Look at that. Can be no easier. Otherwise, if you try to pull it out when it's not exactly aligned, pulling it out damage, won't. You damage the, the actual casting. Putting, putting it in. I mean, pulling it out, you can always get well, them you out. Can always, yeah, but you can always, even if you pull it out a little bit, you, it's, it's not like aligned. Pull out, it's all right. Yeah. It's just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, getting naughty there. Putting it in and then you get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pulling out in time, oh, yeah. at the right time, is, <laughs> makes a difference. <laughs> That's what we didn't have last time. I don't want to tell you what we used. We, we didn't record it. We did. We recorded a pipe, a pipe, a pipe open. Pipe wrench. It's pipe wrench. Yeah, that, that, one of those. <laughs> Glenn, that's your fourth bagel. <laughs> I don't like your bagel. You're going to hear a click. Oh. And now it's going to come out. That is the pop of the, the cold fusion between the two metals. I got, I, you know what I was pleased to see? I was pleased to see uh, Bogan's video. He bought the Diablo, El Diablo, and he loved the bike. That was like, gave me such a good feeling. Like, he likes it because he's, he's not tall, and it's, it's, a, it's a quick bike. It's a quicker ride. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I love the fact that he loved that bike. He loves it. So the bearing is out. You're going to see a big difference. Remember we did last between the amount of ro uh, rollers. rollers. Yep. Yeah. How many rollers? There's um, double the amount of rollers over here, inside, compared to here at the stock. You see it? Hector. Yeah, I see it. It's a good one to miss. Oh, wow. Okay. It's always that trash. Double the amount. Double the rollers, no plastic cage. Well, we're changing the valve springs. In order to hold the valve springs up and not let them fall into the head, we've got to put compressed air into the motor. Oh. So you take a compression tester, Yeah. you pull the Schrader valve out, and then hook it up to my airline here, and now I can send compressed air into your cylinder head. Got you. So the valves won't fall, won't drop. So the valve won't fall. Because when we release the keepers on the... The, the, the weight will want to drop it It's going to want to drop into the head. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, there's no other way to hold it up. Unless there's, no, no, unless there's compression the inside. Oh. So no, the air is holding the valves up. Right, so now closed. when I pull this tool down... I got you. Take your two valve keepers out of here with a magnet. There's that doesn't one. work. Oh, it do oh, you did. There's oh, one. there it is. Yeah, I don't have my strong magnet. I don't know where it is. Two. Now we let this out, and now the valve spring is free. Okay. Easy. Nice. Easy. We could do that ourselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The valve spring. That's the caca. That's the caca. Caca one. Nope. nope. Now the fun part. Now we got to pull the valve seal off. Valve seal? <sighs> that is the valve seal. Got gotcha. you. Oh. You changing this too, Mike? Yeah. So, so the valve seal stops the oil, oil from, the oil going, from going, down. going in. Yeah. I didn't know. That. Okay. Okay. And there's obviously an O-ring over there. And yep. we're going to reuse this or it comes with no, new ones? No, it comes with new ones. New ones. Okay, so that's literally the top of the valve. Right there. Got you. I never, I've never seen the top end. Neither does not matter. This is the first time I've seen it. Inside on the seal. That's a new seal, right? New seal. Yeah. Just so the valve goes through there nicely, doesn't tear it on the way in. Drop that on there. Okay. There you go. And they stay the they stay up a little bit, so what I'm gonna do is I use a three-quarter semi deep oh, semi deep to socket. Push, to push it and not a lot of pressure. Just a little, just the seat, the seal. You'll watch it go down. Right there. That's it. You don't have to do that, but it makes it easier to put the spring on. Got you. Okay, so there's your new seal. Assembly lube on the bottom of the spring. People can use oil, I use assembly lube. 
Now, at the time, uh, you told you recommended a different spring, but that was like around six, five hundred, six hundred dollars. Yeah, so dollars. Star Star Racing yeah, they makes their own springs. Yeah, I think they're about five hundred eighty-nine dollars for the set. A, a big, uh, big chunk. So I didn't. I opted to go with this. You said it's also good. It's a good spring. And it's, it's like two hundred, two fifty. They're, yeah, uh, they're can, a little more than that. They're about three hundred bucks. Okay. So this just added security. Look at the difference. Yeah. This is the this is the not fun part. Which springs are they? When you got these, these are the sidewinders. Yeah. When you got chubby fingers, trying to put these little keepers on. Shave them down. Shave my fingers? Yeah. Those are the same springs I got. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it too much to ask for? <laughs> What's that, Glenn? I said I, I, my springs are TTS springs. Oh, okay. So now I can compress this down. And Once you do air, a big build, a uh, big board build, you need uh, different springs, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Any, uh, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's really the lift of the cam. Oh, the okay. higher cam. Wait, Jerry, focus on anything over it's 475, I would do. Jerry, but it's good to 485. How about that? And there's one. It gave out. Oh, wow. What? You know what why? His, uh, his spring broke. You know why? Oh, what, what, what bike? The Jerry street bike. Jerry doesn't warm his motorcycle up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's the job I threw him in front of it. Hammering it. Yeah. From work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keepers you are in. I got one down. One down. One down. Seven to go. <laughs> okay. Take that out. Let's. I'll show the difference. Oh. You can see the difference between the side monitors. Yeah, you see the difference. It's beefier, not as many, not as many uh, 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 twists. I think that's less uh, winds or wraps, but it looks thicker. See, it looks much thicker. Oil warmed up. Nice and easy. Let it run. Front cylinder is going way faster because we got more room over here to work with. So he's flying over here. <laughs> <laughs> the background conversation. He, goes, he says, I shaved my fucking nuts off. My, I'm cold. I said, yeah, my problem is my nuts have to stack sat, sticks to my legs. And he goes, no, I don't have that problem. I said, that's because you've got no balls. <laughs> well, let me tell you right now. Springs. Valve springs are in. You don't have to the engine. You don't have to change out the bar, the seat, the suspension, and all that. But it's just Next step. Yes, <laughs> clean up that <laughs> bottom of that rocker box a little bit. Yeah, it looks nasty. Nice. I get off my BMW and I get on that. It's like riding a bike from 1929. Yeah. So this, this here is called a thread wizard. Okay. So it's the easiest way to clean all of the cook and I got you. That's good. You run it through a couple times. Oh, nice. Takes all the gunk and left all the threads or yep. no, no, cleans the whole top for you. Because you you know I do this and then relock tighten. Yeah. Takes all the lock tight out of there. Wow. There you go, Loctite. Uh, otherwise, I'll be getting all these comments. Yeah, I'll comments. Oh my god. Oh, no, no, no. no Loctite. Oh, Everybody's an expert. You love it. You remember. Science. Seven hundred dollar uh, rat uh, torque ratchet, torque wrench. Rubber gasket. Rubber. Yep. Presses into the groove. Silicone or rubber? I think it's rubber. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. It was a green one. Stock was green. Yep. I like the green one. The color. Nicer. Yeah. <laughs> it is in the trailer. Here it's going to be a tighter, tighter access, huh? Yep. A little tighter on the back here. Yeah. Let me try I need that. That needs to go to where me. in the middle, right? Yeah, it comes to me. Yeah. Every time I got Willie doing something with me, I, he always has his hand in the wrong spot. I always <laughs> wind up pinching him. What are we doing now? We are going to install, once I get all this old crap out of the way, okay. we're going to install the fueling shafts and uh, lock nuts.
That's what we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. Instead of the Harley Spock, these. Pretty much it was these. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The bolts that they have. Uh, we're going to put them right here. Uh, right here. No. Controlled springs. Probably going to take them home and. I, yeah, make a keychain out of them. My bike? My, earrings, Adam, my daughter actually ears. might might wear these as earrings. <laughs> Elbows. <laughs> uh, yeah. So what we got to do is we got to drive two lock, lock them, lock them so we can lock them there. together so we can drive them into the top of the bike. Right. <clears throat> and these are good, better than what Harley did, because uh, they won't back out. No. <laughs> yeah, but I don't like purple. I'm gonna have to freaking repowder coat everything. <laughs> but there, there's a procedure. I have to go to um, ten foot pounds, crack them loose, and then go to uh, and then go to five, uh, twenty-six foot pounds. Okay. Oh, that was your your torques. Yeah. Torque. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We do this as common practice. Yeah. Uh, if if they're, I mean, there are customers that come in and are adamant about not wanting to strengthen their top end or be safe about it, and they just want to uh, put the cam in. Mm -hmm. It's not recommended by us, but if I can't get them to do it, they don't. You know, yeah. Nothing I can do. What this would be an additional two hundred, three hundred dollar. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the studs are about one hundred and fifty dollars, and then we're talking like another three hours labor. Gotcha. Because if not, then I would just be in there, you know, cutting the push rods and putting adjustables in. Right. Oh, I got you. Which I don't like. Which I don't like doing. <clears throat> this pretty much bulletproofs everything. Yeah. They're not right. Why? Because they're too high. But I went up. Uh, you should have seen me uh, down here, and I went. Uh, and that was all I could say. Much larger camera too. Deodorant. <laughs> We're checking the crank run out. Crank run out. I didn't check mine. <laughs> and it's working. <laughs> I just check them just to. Yeah, just because you have the tool. And because fueling lets me use the tool and passes a off to the customers if I use this tool and fill out some paperwork online but you're not getting a fueling cam mm. I can offer I, I can offer a two-year warranty mm. on everything so at the same time this is ridiculous oh, what are we doing we're checking the run out on the crank six 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 who said six I did that's because I do these all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I know it be six. six. Yeah, Glenn said six. six. No, Glenn said six. five. I said, I said six, but I had no clue what we're talking about, so I just said six. <laughs> all right. Six sounds good, right? Six is good. Yeah, six is good. All right, cool. So now we'll. So that uh, means it's good. It's good, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's good. good. You're within spec. We're You're good. Spec yeah, we're six. We're good. Uh, you happy with six? Not here. Yeah, no choice. You happy with six? Me too. Six. I'm happy. I'm happy with six. We're gonna use the same tool. Same tool as we had for extraction. Right, but there's a different uh, setting. A different right flip, flip over. Okay. So we're gonna flip that. Flip. And obviously, Glenn just said it's obvious, but what? When we put in a new cam, always new bearing. New bearing. The, the, the stock bearing is crap. Yeah. Right. And the new bearing is way better. And you're in there and. I, we've seen already. Who was it? We, we don't want to say, but we've seen somebody that kept this bearing in. I won't put it in. I'll finish. Right? Yeah. You can open all. Put it in, baby. <laughs> Glenn, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So now we're putting these in the. The uh, bearing is already on the other side. The bearing is on this, that is on this shaft. Yep. That right is here. Pushy. I didn't see it fit there. Right there. Yep. If you can see. Yeah. yeah. That's good. So what I do is uh, I leave the plate loose until the cam bearing oh, I contacts got you. I was like, why aren't you tightening it? Yeah. So once this con, because they're these tools aren't a hundred percent lined up with the hole. So once the cam touches touches like that, now I'm gonna I 
adjust it up like that. Right and bearing in, you're just going to no binding. This thing should go in until the you have it meets the stopper. Yep. So, I don't know. And here's a lot of the problem. See, it's now it just stopped on oh, That's it done. Yeah. where he's going to get builders from all over the country. Here you go. That's it, the bearing is in. He's going to get builders from all over the country to build custom. Actually, from what I've seen, everybody's got their own uh, flow, right? Yep. Of putting the oil pump in. So, I think you you put it in one piece? I don't know. I, I, piece by piece. piece, by piece. So, with yeah. extra so that's how we did it. Yeah. Some people just put it in as Some one. Some people take the pump and they just no, no. jam it in there. Right. What you do is you risk tearing the O-ring, and if so you, you tear that O-ring, now your bike's gonna sump. So you literally do... Piece first, most piece. important is the first piece with the O-ring. Yep. Like a couple so as long as there's no tears or anything yeah. in it, it's fine, you can you move it over, reuse it. I do stock these though, just in case. That is a very crucial O-ring, huh? Yep. Be very liberal with this. Use, use assembly lube. Right, exactly. There it goes. The feel should be like Tupperware. Yep. And then you have the little the spring from that other one. So the bottom left clicked in properly. So on this skier, that where the where the uh, tab is missing faces inward to the engine. The other gears are just completely they're flat. Yeah, the when you start building out somewhere else. And stop. Perfect. About it. Once you start eating, you get sausage pie. Sandy. But I'm not back in there. It doesn't matter. It's very dark. It's the same thing with Catholics. Yeah. Right. Never been. <laughs> See, now I have to put music over what we just said. You're going to block away. You walk with three pies? Somebody can go with you. Oh yeah. Uh, Quality is just. <laughs> what? We'll get some bottles. You can pick up bottles when you're there. I'm sure. Right? Oh. Why do we even bother putting the, uh, lube? If anyway, the there's going to be oil inside. No, there. because the friction okay, when you first start it off. Uh, yeah. Oil it's going to take a little bit to build that oil pressure. So it's just an initial. And I mean, look, some people don't. May not put as much on as I do. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was I was saying before. You see those gaps right there between between uh, the, uh, the gears. That's actually where the oil goes. That's how the the pressure is built up. Excuse me. No. Yes. So like, yes, please. that right here. That's where the oil goes. When it spins, it, that's what creates the pressure. The address is two. Yeah, right around. Let's say there's ten teeth all around, but there's 11, 11 grooves. Yeah, so you know what I mean? Yeah. When it spins, it turns, that's what builds the pressure. Cam time. Yeah, so it's a motorcycle shot. Lube all over Very important though, don't drop the cam. <laughs> yes, it will bring I don't, I lube up this last lobe here when it's in already, so I don't drop the cam. <laughs> You know from experience you're saying, right? If you drop that, <laughs> of course. No, but even if even it doesn't buddy, crack, it gets. My buddy was going to put a camshaft in his V8, and guess what? It slipped out of his hands right before he was going, and it dropped on the ground, and it broke into three pieces. Wow. Now, if you drop the cam, though, it might be uh, the runout might be the same as your crankshaft. Yeah. <laughs> on the cam plate here, the SNS cam plates. So they've got these brass inserts in here. The fuelings do not. Even the race series doesn't. So this is a much heavier duty uh, 
uh, cam plate with the bushings. Gotcha. And I like a little better one. And it also has, <laughs> yeah. also has cleanable screens inside too. Yeah, it has a, on the, yeah, you can pop the screens out. Yeah, easy. One, two, one, two, three, three four. And ABC. And then ABCD? Yeah. But you gotta turn the engine over twice right. before tightening the, the uh, ABCD. Yeah, so what I do is uh, run the bolts in, five foot pounds, turn the motor over, another five foot pounds uh, for your total torque of 10. It's either 10 foot pounds or it's 120 inch pounds. Same. What's up, man? Just won't be here. That's, uh, you know why that's good, Sandy? Mm -hmm. No, because the stock chain tensioner just dribbles oil onto the chain, where the SNS actually squirts it onto the chain. Okay. They're, 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 they're uh, little channels for the oil on the on, on the, the stock one. On yeah. the, ten, on the tensioner. Dribbles. Can you rotate that wheel? No. They're doing final, final, torque. final torque. That's it. 700 foot pounds of torque? 705. 705. <laughs> foot pounds. <laughs> and red lock tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just checking the, the alignment of both uh, gears. Right? See the alignment between the two gears. Because we need the chain, the chain to run on it uh, exactly without any. It's actually less than four thousandths, which is good. I may not even change the shim. I okay. Can't, I can't even get four thousandths. Got a good bike. <laughs> you got the good one. Come on. <laughs> Harley made only one good bike, and I got it. <laughs> They're not gonna like this. Uh, this part. <laughs> Harley, you made only one good bike. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Go by tens. Uh -huh. So that's a one ten. The next one will be a one twenty. Yeah, yeah. So that's gonna push it out too far. Okay. So. Like I told you, I got the good bike from one. <laughs> hey, he worked in a gun shop. Did he really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. Nah, he knows a lot. Yeah. It's always me by myself. You have all those tools, Mike. Fancy stuff, Sam. Fancy stuff. <laughs> I only go with the best, best products. Not only does he fly first class, he also put first class. <laughs> Business, not <laughs> good. Prepare the, the lifters. lifters. Oh, okay. So we should have done this overnight, right? No. So this, no. this. Yeah, I can do this in about ten minutes. Mine, I, I put it for a week. I know. <laughs> <laughs> a week. With vacuum, right? Yep. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my uh, my brake. Oh, we're doing a new paint job. <laughs> this is behind you down there by the okay. dyno. So if you get a video of this, once I start pulling vacuum on it, yeah, you're going to see bubbles all getting drawn up. All the air is going to get sucked out. Charging the lifter. Now the oil goes all the way into all the nooks and crannies. And the air comes out. Filling lifters. Yep. Feeling recommends the weep holes on the M8. These weep holes here yeah. face each other. Okay. Twin cam, I believe they face outward. But M8s, they face each other. So I'm going to take the uh, weep hole right there. 
Uh -huh. Face it to the other lifter. You have to open up this little glue in here and you have to let the glue dry. <laughs> we're gonna, well, we're going to put a two thousandth feeler gauge in here on the load side. All right. Okay. Yeah. So that when we tighten the screw, because they're aligned. not, it's getting, well, it's going to rock that way as I tighten. So with the two thousandths in it there, stops it just in time. Right, stops it. There's a torque spec for that as well. So yes. What you're doing, right? Yeah, I didn't tighten it down. Yeah, I, I see, but there is, huh? Yep, everything. everything. So the torque spec on these is 100 inch pounds. Yeah. And these are 120 to 140. Oh, the, the good condition if you guys want. <laughs> $800, it's yours. Mike. Uh... So s and makes them without this tab on them where it's just got a cutout, mm -hmm. like I have on Peanuts bike. Right, on the bottom. Yeah. You guys Glenn's got to go. Good seeing everybody. Thanks for coming, buddy. 30-30 on its way. 30-30. Bye. The push rods. They are marked intake and exhaust. Gotcha. I always just put a little dab of oil on either end of them. This exhaust. Just as simple as that. They just drop in. Marker shafts back on and with our new setup over there with the studs, right? Yep. The red that you see is not Loctite, it's assembly lube. Okay. Just to let you know. But we are going to lock tight. We're going to red lock tight the, uh, the nuts. Nuts, yeah. nuts onto the studs mm -hmm. right here. Down to 10 foot pounds. Okay. Um, then we crack it loose and then tight final torque to 26. Go figure, but whatever. Yeah. Red, red lock tight. Red lock tight. There you go. You do one rocker at a time. I've got this valve up so that I know I got the intake valve up so that I know the exhaust valve is on the base circle so I don't have to keep switching between torques I have one set to 10 and the other one set to 26 Break it free. Break it. Stock it is 168 or IAU, of course. You'd blow my door. Not too long ago, I went on the torque wash, guys. And it was really nice. Oh, bro. I, I, and I don't want to do the carbon, uh, the carbon torch, the carbon disc from our head. Separator oil. Is it a separator or just breather? It's a breather for the head. <laughs> I thought you were joking and that was for the tops. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is he doing? These are not being tightened by an impact gun. No. They're just, They're just being run in. this Hold yeah this that's awesome. so what I do I've got these little tools okay centers of, of four of them yep I center two two okay two, two opposite two opposing corners and on the top of this one eight or six uh, ten, ten. <laughs>
I'll, I'll do this side? Sure. Okay. What are you putting back on? This the, is the uh, oil crossover line. Oil crossover. Um, Delivers oil to the, the top. Yep. Yeah. And then it uh, the, to the oil cooler itself. Right? And then it, it from there, and then it drains it down into the back um, down into gravity the gravity and pressure. Yep. And goes through the oil cooler right here in the front. Yep. So it runs through the cool out the top of the cooler. It puts oil into that head. Then crossover oil into the overhead. Overhead. And then back into the into the drain. And then drains it into the crankcase. When it comes to his uh, cleanliness of the bolt and everything, every bolt over here is cleaned in and out. We've been working for quite a while, and he doesn't like never gives up on every uh, bolt to clean it all the way. I think that's your hobby to buy tools. <laughs> Buying the right tools. Yeah. Ran your way? Yeah. Yeah. I thought I had a good angle there. In the meantime, I connected the bracket for uh, the love jugs over here, and then I'm gonna connect them and run the wire, the cable, all the way up under, under the frame through this point right here, right here, and run it over here. And I have my utility over here. So we got power over here. That's a drain. Yep, from the top. Okay. Okay, we got the love jugs on. Now we're gonna run the cable from the back with the wires all the way on the top. Like I said, he doesn't understand social clues. No, nobody's gonna be no hard feelings for anyone. Adrian's having a hard time. Danny talk then. Oh, it's so nice to see a bike uh, when it's put together again, you know? Sawiki so so time. Everything is almost completely bound up. And now we're down to the pipe. Ta-da! Old gaskets are out. Came out one shot. Look at that. What you don't know is the first one came out in 500 little pieces. <laughs> I'm gonna show you a little trick here. So these gaskets, they're conical. These gaskets are gonna be when you have a, a flat and then like that, you use the flat gaskets, not the ones that are on a, a flare. Right. A lot of times these gaskets, though, when you put them in. Yeah. They're a little bit smaller, so what happens is you put them in like that, and then they fall out. Oh, so you put little... Nope. So we, what I do is... Oh, right. I make them a little bit oblong. Right, and then it, it's forced. And then and then the pressure holds it in place. Gotcha. I was able to get rid of it, huh? Yeah. You put it on the O2 sensor. Uh... Yeah, I put it on here uh, right. just so it doesn't weld itself. We also, we also put it on the, the pipes, uh, or no? No. Nah. No. Nah. Now we'll just put this a little bit of this on the thread so it doesn't weld itself together. Front is, front, front is longer, I think, right? On, on the, the touring bike, yeah. yeah. Where you left them, of course. Uh, never point a camera at somebody that's working. You'll always, always mess up somehow. Well, you put red, that means that that pipe is never coming off, and I don't know about that. No, well, red, <laughs> it's not always what you think. Red Loctite is actually uh, because of the bolt size. Gotcha. Blue Loctite will do nothing on a bolt that size. Oh, I got you. Look, it's got uh, movement over here, so it can actually be... Yeah, that's nice. Kind of nice, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice, huh? Really nice. Look at this. Hold the pipe because I'm going to start stretching. Ready? Make sure you. Oh, okay. Our front and rear. There we go. Dude knows his shit. So 
nice, 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 nice. Yeah, that's a good choice. I've seen it on Blockhead's uh, video. I know, like I've seen the Suwiki on uh, Pinot Spike at the time, but and it was it's nicely priced as well, competitively priced to the HPI, yep. to Thunderhead, or even got both in. So apparently the love jugs we got the connector, the power is this kind of plug. And nowhere on the ST is there a same the same plug to feed power with. So well, because you see this is what we got on the other side. So there's uh, no way to connect it. We're gonna rig something. Not rig. M Mike is gonna come up with uh, another solution over here. So we we checked uh, the instruction. It says uh, six port accessory uh, plug, and there's no six. Pin. Six pin accessory plug over here. So this is what Mike's doing. He's gonna. He's good with all these electronics and uh, audio systems and all these electrical connections. So he's gonna make one right now with plugs on both sides. And what do you do uh, if you're gonna do the same thing? You call. Uh, you call Love Jugs or whoever deals with them. Or do this. Put a two pin uh, waterproof connector on. For those of you that don't remember and, and never seen it, Mike is the one that actually helped us, uh, helped me install the audio system and ran the pins because this was where the big problem was at the time. So Mike's uh, helped us out over there and, and solved that problem then. Wow. There you go. Very good. One side. <laughs> one side. Let's go with the second one. And then these. Hey, Mike finished. Mike finished up over here the custom wiring. And the love jugs, we just checked them out. They're working. Three, one, two, three. Listen to this, like a turbo. Too. Much bigger. The gym anyway you said today, so. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, hold on. Okay, let the back down. Oh, now we're gonna start the bike, guys. First start with the with the stage two with the 3030 cam. Okay, Ready? you can go, yeah.
okay, that initial startup was uh, with the current map that we have from before. Now we're gonna program the ECU, the ECM, with uh, the fuel motor map that is, uh, you know, set up for this specific air intake, this pipe, with that uh, cam, the 3030 cam, and then that should be the real base map that we start working with when we do the dyno tuning later on. So we're working on the map that we got from Fuel Moto, and Mike is able to go in, like it's standard, to go in and change different parameters. For example, he showed me before, uh, like uh, the response of the throttle, how, how quick it is, how snappy it is. So they set it as a preset, 15%. That means like, if you hit the throttle, it only opens initially 15%. That's the speed of how it opens. So he sets it at 80. So the bike feels more snappy. Gonna, the throttle feels I snappy. I may bump this one up. Um, so if you look here, this is what it says. It says it's using wire. Um, a value of 100 is going to allow it to be in real time. Real time. Right. Okay. It's so, like, like the time when there was cable, when it was all done by cable. Exactly. So make and, that change. Yeah. And also, he's uh, like uh, how how low the idle RPM of the idle will go. So, so did that. As soon as you hit... Uh, Actually, I'm going to change from 176 degrees. We're going to drop you down to 980. So you're going to sit at 980 as soon as you hit operating temperature. So, yeah. So initially, it's startup. It's, it gives a higher RPM. But once it hits uh, temperature 175, the RPM drops, and it gives it that beautiful, that nice, that nice brub, 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 brub sound Check that we know. They, um, this is the fuel table that they're, they're going to push. Right. But so we're not going to play with this now because we're, we're not going to yeah. on the dyno. Once we're on the dyno, right? I do things, I, I bring them up a little bit. This is very rich here uh, for wide open throttle. So we usually bring these up to about 13. Uh, I do some 14.1s here. This is very lean. That is what? That ratio. is the mixture ratio? Yeah. So 13.5 is like your optimal. But 14 so is not low. 14 is high. This oh, it's is. the other way around? This is lean. So I anywhere you. your your KPA is uh, your map sensor readings here versus your RPM. This is kind of this is kind of lean. So that's a, this is where you mostly ride. So it is tuned to be lean because they want to show more power. Right? Yeah, and it's going to run hotter though. And we're we're, we're going to fix all we that. We want to we want to go a little bit more reliable, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to make it a little bit richer, not not as lean. Let's right. let's say that, right? Yeah, we're going to richen this up a little bit. Not much, not yeah. much. But then we're going to run auto tune sessions. Because your philosophy is what? To go for? I want reliability right. and I want the bikes to run at a good temperature. I oh, got you. Okay. So so getting high numbers usually means you got to keep it really lean. Advanced timing. But, and, lean. You, and you compromise reliability long term, right? Yeah. And I mean, you're not going to, I mean, four or five points, you're not going to, you're not going to see that difference. Right. Yeah. Okay. Everything Just understood. Else understood. So everything look, looks pretty good for a tune right now. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm going to save this tune, and then uh, we throw it onto this little thing. Yep. And once that we connect that to the uh, bike, we send it into the ECM or ECU. 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 Engine control unit. How about that? Yeah. Not coming here. Now, Mike, explain to me, uh, does any anybody that does a cam job, does he need to buy a $600, $700 unit like this? No, if they bring it to a shop like ours that has a dyno and uses power vision. So how much would a... Would... There's a license that I can buy okay. and sell to the customer for $257. I got you. And then that license can be used on our shop power vision. Got you. So there's no need to buy the whole... No. Uh, tool this whole thing which this is actually married to the bike right no matter what it is because there's a license file on here but i can use this on other bikes by just no, not you one. but like if i were to buy one for myself you my, can, this would be you can use this on multiple bikes, on you, multiple just, bikes. you just but buy, I need a to buy a license every right. time i got you so it makes sense if somebody owns like just one bike and he does the job on one bike it's not too wise to buy one but if you have more than one bike maybe it's wise to yeah. actually go ahead and buy one now it's, not, it's not the fastest. It's many times when I ride my bike, I put my fob over there on the by the on the handlebars, and every once in a while I get a message, no fob detector or something. Where's the actual? Do you know it's, where the actual code is? Back here. Somewhere. Oh, so I got you. So the right, here it is. The, the receiver is down there, yeah. so I need to keep the fob in my pocket. Better yeah, off. you're better off in your pocket. Got you. So I can lose it in my pocket. There you go. 
We're just going to transfer the license. So right. I'm going to hit yes. Now all the data is going from here. So now we're going to do this so cable. Here's the into here. Here's the tune we just did. Right, Sandy. There you go. Select. Continue. Flash. There you go. Now it's flashing the ECU. We're going to go for a first start. First start with the proper map. Mike, Mike is taking it out for a run. I can hear the bike literally from a mile, from, listen. Just got off the bike. The bike sounds amazing and the response is amazing. And that's even before we started to tweak with the tune. It sounds vicious. Mad Max, be prepared for, <laughs> for eating dust. This is so, so, so wicked. It's unbelievable. John, you better be careful. I'm coming. Listen to that. Tune it. The boot is over here. Nice. It pulls all RPMs and it feels pretty linear. Just pulls all all RPMs. It keeps gives you the feeling that what a different bike. Oh my god. Trouble. 